In our lab at VIB and University of Leuven, we study the mechanisms of synaptic transmission. To identify novel components involved in synaptic transmission, we conducted large-scale forward genetic screens and identified L3. Interestingly, in parallel, our collaborators Wim Robrecht and Amaral Shalabi identified polymorphisms in L3 to be associated with the devastating neurological disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. This obviously identified our interest in the protein and we studied the function of L3 in neurons in detail. L3, or elongator protein 3, is a protein that is best studied for its role in the nucleus to transfer acetyl groups to histones to regulate chromatin structure and gene expression. However, we found that L3 is involved or is present largely in the cytoplasm in fly neurons, but also in mammalian neurons, and it even concentrates at synapses. In this paper, we identify a critical role for L3 in the regulation of presynaptic density function and neurotransmitter release. Presynaptic densities are built from a protein named Bruchpilot. Bruchpilot strands assemble like a straw, sending extensions into the cytoplasm to capture synaptic vesicles. What is interesting, in LP3 mutant, Bruchpilot assemble normally, but the top part of densities show morphological defects such that their extensions cover larger area. This can be nicely seen in electron tomogram, where we can visualize those structures in three dimensions. Those excessive tentacles result in more synaptic vesicle stuttering, as well as more proficient neurotransmitter release. Therefore, our data indicate that LP3 restricts size of presynaptic densities and number of synaptic vesicles which are captured for release. L3 is an enzyme that transfers acetyl group to other proteins, including histones, to regulate chromatin structure in the nucleus. So we directly tested whether L3 can acetylate Bruchpilot. In our paper, we have several evidences, but the most striking is that when we isolate BRP from flies with significantly reduced expression of L3, we find a parallel reduction in the acetylation of proof pilot. So, our biochemical experiments indicate that L3 is necessary and sufficient for acetylation of proof pilot. The overall conclusion of our work is that L3-dependent acetylation of Bruchpilot is a critical regulator of neurotransmitter release. We find that reduced acetylation of Bruchpilot results in the protein to send out extensive tentacles into the cytoplasm to contact more synaptic vesicles, resulting in more neurotransmitter release. This is not only important because it endows synapses with the capacity to regulate single presynaptic density function, but we believe that it also has important implications for synaptic plasticity. Given the link between L3 and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, our future work is now geared to try to understand how this function of L3 is linked to this devastating neurological disease.